Hello, I'm Zoe, and I'm a transgender woman who lives near Chepstow, near Bristol, not far from Bristol, in the United Kingdom. In the past months, I've had a hair transplant, I've had further lip fillers, lip tattoos, the second session of which was just two days ago, and I've had piercings in my nose and in my ears, as additional ones, and I'm seeing a voice therapist. So to talk about my hair transplant, this happened in Manchester last November, where I had a surgeon take a strip off the back of my head and then start to put little clusters of three hairs into my temples. And you can see from this picture after it, it looked a bit of a mess, which I think is unavoidable. Now it's four months later and there has been some progress. Obviously, not a lot and initially it was expected that all the hairs that had been planted would be no longer there they would fall out but that didn't happen in my case i'm not sure that has any significance but after four months i'm beginning to see a difference as you perhaps can observe yourself so that was that and I expect later in the year it could start to look rather different and allow me to have a fringe. Now, I've reported previously about my lip filler, so I had a booster take place just a few months ago, just to keep them where they were. And then more recently, on the advice that Alison, who did the lip fillers, gave me, that was that it'd be better if I could get my lips tattooed so there would be a sharper definition to my lips. I had my lips tattooed by Tanya in Cheltenham. Tanya is a cosmetic tattooist, but also fully trained as a full-blooded tattooist. And she had, therefore uses the equipment you'd expect to have for work such as I've had on all of my body. The work she normally does is focused on women who've had breast cancer. And she helps rebuild their confidence by tattooing 3D areolas and nipples which is wonderful work. But she does also do other work, which includes, of course, lips, and therefore is using proper tattoo equipment. And it takes a while. I had the first session, and you can see the photo of how I was immediately after that. And then I had the second two days ago, which was more thorough, with an effort to make the lips look darker. Now, they won't look like this for very long, I fear, because as they heal, the strength of the colour dissipates. But I'm very happy it's given me the kind of sharp outline that the person, that's Alison, who does my lip fillers, has recommended. And I think it will also make the work I have continually done on that look more effective. Finally... I've been going to a voice therapist, to Lucia, and she's been trying to help me to feminise my voice. So I speak now as best I can, but I keep lapsing all the time uh, from the front of the mouth and to avoid the resonance that comes from speaking down here. It's not easy trying to get everything done coming from the front. And I know probably should be looking at this and saying, oh, you didn't get that right, you didn't get that right. And of course I haven't. It's going to be time give me the progress well thank you so much for listening to me and i look forward to seeing you again bye bye